Hey everybody, I'm Steve and I'm with Gumball Stuff. One of the most common questions we get is, how do I increase the price of my machines? Everyone knows that inflation has hit our industry hard. You have a couple options. You can swap out your Coimex with brand new ones, and we offer those. Or we also manufacture coin wheels to put in these machines to save you a lot of money. This one is a 50 cent coin wheel for the Super 60 machine. It's super easy to do, it takes about two minutes, costs $9.50, and we're gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. All right, so we have a Northwestern 25 cent coin mech. This is for the Super 60 and M60. This is their modern mech called the Thick Mech. Um, the thin old mechs, which are look a lot different, you can't convert those. This is the coin wheel we make for them. They just drop right in, and we're gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna flip it over and pop off the return spring. You do not need to remove that screw. You can just kick it out of your way. Then we're gonna remove the three outer screws. This is what holds on the back plate. And when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to stay organized. This is a pretty simple one, but when I do this stuff, I like to kind of spread the pieces out where they were. Um, sometimes you might have a screw that's a little funky and it fits in a hole the right way, and it's good to put it back in the same spot doesn't happen all the time, but it can save you some trouble and confusion um, in the future. We also like to keep a clean work area, and we love magnetized screwdrivers, um, especially with Phillips heads. Makes it real easy to pick stuff up. Next, we're gonna remove the center screw. This is the one that holds on the drive gear. and also has a washer behind it. So when we get that out, we're gonna keep those paired together. Just pops right off. Now sometimes these uh, handles can be tight and are tough to get off. The cam slides are off like that. We got to get this out. This one's coming out pretty easy. If you have one that's tougher, you can give it a little pop and it'll slide out the bottom. Now the back plate removes. We don't need to do anything with that, but you want to check it out. Make sure there isn't any gunk, grease buildup, or anything like that. If there is, you can scrape it. Um, you always keep cleaner, paper towels, sandpaper, steel wool with you, so you can clean up anything that needs taken care of. So we're going to pop out the old coin wheel. You can hold those in place so you don't have to remove them, and then just set that to the side. Once you're here, you want to inspect it, make sure there's no grease or any other buildup inside. If there is, you can scrape it, clean it out. This one is really clean, so it's pretty easy. We use white lithium and some other greases. Pick your favorite one. You just want to give it a little coat. Anytime metal's moving, it's a good idea to keep it, uh, keep the friction in a medium. You can scoot that right over, pop it in, give it a little spin to make sure it feels okay. We're all converting old coin max, and things happen over time. Things can warp. If you put this in there and it's wobbling, the new wheel might not work in there. The uh, part might just be bad and you should put in your 25 cent just to keep it as it was. Um, we also need to get that handle in there. So we want to check it. This one slides in pretty good. Uh, over time, your handles will wear, bend, etc. If it fits real tight, you can use some sandpaper, work it down so that it slides in easier for you. But we're gonna pop that in, and then we're gonna put the top plate back on, back plate back on. You wanna get everything to line up, and we're gonna do those four screws. Now for steel wool, we like to use the 4 aught 4 o, however you like to say it. It's uh, abrasive enough that it helps clean things off, but also it's not gonna scratch or tarnish your, your chrome. All right, we got in the last one. We wanna make sure everything's still turning smoothly. Gonna pop on the cam. So it's a good idea to inspect those two, make sure they're not cracked or anything. If, you, uh, if you're doing this and you have any broken parts, we stock everything in our store and um, the website so you can replace anything that may need replaced. When you do your screws, like with anything else, 
You want them to be snug, you want to be tight, but you don't want to overdo it where you're stripping the screws or making it where you'll never get it out again. So now we have all that put back together. Everything feels good and it's smooth. We're going to hook the spring back on the arm, swing it over. Feels good. Run a couple test bends. That one's good. Sometimes when you put these uh, wheels in, it takes a couple turns for it to seat and to really uh, even get that grease to move around a little bit. But as you spin it a few times, it does a lot better. Um, we mentioned earlier with cleaning, mechs can get really greasy, tarnished. That's where that steel wool comes in. If you can see how nasty that can get in some places, you take this to it, you can buff it out and it shines like new again. So we highly recommend keeping some of that around. So that's all there is to it for the 25 cent to 50 cent conversion for Northwestern. We'll be doing more videos for the Northwestern two inch machines. You can take your 50 centers up to 75 and a dollar. We also have those coin wheels in our store. And if you want to see any other videos, reach out to us and let us know and we'll be happy to make them. Thank you much.